Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. Hope you enjoyed that video at the start of this video. That was an old lick that I did. I think it was around 2014, early 2014. And uh, I'm continuing this series that I started. I, the last video I uploaded, um, proper video, was back in at the end of January. And uh, I think it was entitled, Can I Still Play My Old Lick? Something along those lines. And I thought that would make a great ongoing series to just go back and see if I could play some of my old licks. And some of them are quite challenging. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, so what I'm going to do is exactly the same that I did in the previous video. Uh, if you haven't checked the first one out, make sure you check it out after you've watched this, of course. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is literally, I have listened to it a few times before I've pressed the record button on the, on the camera uh, this afternoon, uh, but I haven't actually sat down and worked it out. So I just want to show you exactly how I would approach this. Um, obviously, you know, if I'm working on it to redo it, I'm going to sit down and, you know, work it out really, really slowly. But this gives you a kind of like a glimpse into how I would approach it and some of the observations that I make as I go along. Anyway, I'm babbling, I'm digressing as I always do, but it's, it's really great to be back doing these videos. Um, so I'll shut up and let's get on with it. So um, we start, uh, it's in the key of G. That pattern is very, really easy for me to go straight back to that because that back in those days, and I certainly still do it now, it's a pattern that I used to use all the time. So I know that that's what I'm doing there. So what I've got to do is follow the next part. Ah, that was it, that's it. So I'm pulling off um, and then hammering on. Okay, so that theme, uh, so it's not really a theme, it's just a little um, uh, motif there, uh, is used throughout and it's just literally a series of chords that uh, descend. So. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the top bit. That's quite challenging, actually. Whoops, bollocks. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's it. Um, this is you know, standard with my kind of um, the techniques and, and patterns that I use, especially that uh, descending groups of four. God damn, that's a bit awkward. Um, I've had a bit of a break from playing, so my, my hands aren't uh, feeling particularly comfortable at the moment doing this. But. That's it. This is all hybrid, and usually with hybrid picking, what I do is a downstroke followed by a uh, the middle finger, the hybrid. Yeah. So that was basically... Um, how, well, how would you call it? You've got major 7 root, 3rd, 5th, 6th, then root. It's kind of like a major 13, I guess. Okay. Now this one here, I would advise you... To get, if you're finding it awkward to get the stretch, to just bring the thumb down a little bit, just to give you that, um, to help you with that extension there. Um, so. And we move down to here, that's it. And then we're gonna play a dominant seventh arpeggio, so G7, it's all flooding back to me. Excellent. So, like I said before, once you've got the first pattern, you apply that to the next chord. Um, I usually do that all the time with uh, arpeggio patterns. So once we've got that, it makes it a lot easier to work out the next part. So I know straight away this is a minor seven, G minor seven. Well, that's a hell of a lot more awkward. I've got a bit of a of, um, tendency now. To use two, uh, one, two and three 
instead of uh, one, three, and four for those kind of things, or one, two, and four, uh, because my playing's changed since 2014. So, but you know, the fingering—it's something that's very personal. <laughs> it is. It's personal. Um, so, you know, it's okay for you to evolve and change your fingerings over time. In fact, I advise you to do that because it, it um, you know, really helps you to develop as a player and, you know, to build your sort of techniques, you know. So G minus seven. That's quite challenging, especially that, that part of it here. Uh, I remember as well, like I say before, um, uh, starting off with the thumb a little bit higher up and when going for the extension just moving the thumb down slightly so whoops that was a bit too over the top whoops and then we move down to this position yeah yeah I do these all the time with the dominant seventh arpeggios so we've got um, a dominant seventh in um, second inversion so what have we got here it's um, Sorry, A7. Where were we? Uh, need to work on that bit here a bit, a little bit more. It's amazing how when you go back to some of your licks, it's for me, certainly for me, it's not just instant. I have to, uh, because my playing's changed, uh, you know, I have to sort of reevaluate what I did before to what I do now. So it's really important to sit down and work on these kind of things. So. Um, that's what I would do, but this is a video just to give you an idea of what I would do. Oops. Ah! That's what I would do before with the third and fourth finger here. Yeah, absolutely, that flows a little bit more, but now... There, I would use uh, descending that pattern so ignoring the little finger altogether uh, still love you though mate <laughs> and then we do the, exactly the same thing but we're in F now so we've just moved down a tone modulated a tone lower so there we go Oops. F minor 7 What did I do here? Uh, my usual thing. Something along those lines. So that's that's like a common little descending pattern um, that I've been doing for quite some time. Um, what is it? Something like that. So, shall we give it a go nice and steady? So, we're in G again. Oops. Oh, trying to go too fast. I won't do it all, I won't do it all. Um, yeah, so instead of actually doing it all, what I would do is you know, practice it more really slowly so that I can get those, um, those shapes down before I actually take it up to tempo. That's probably not, not a good idea to do that, especially as I'm changing fingerings now to what it was before. So hopefully this has given you some, uh, a bit of an insight to kind of how I approach relearning you know, the licks and patterns that I do. Uh, so this is part two. Look out for part three coming soon. I've got videos ready to uh, I'm ready to get back to it. Um, also, check out my website. Fifty percent off. Link in the description box below. Best ways to support me. All right, guys. Great to see you again, and I will see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>